Today I'm going to tell you a story about humanity's search and pursuit for happiness. Can we truly be happy in a world that demands constant improvement in our lives, professionally, personally, and in every way? Let me tell you a thought-provoking story about happiness. See, many people believe life is all about a race to become the best in the world. And many people truly believe that it is an absolute race to be the best in everything that you do. For example, the constant pursuit of fancier cars, bigger houses, better restaurants to dine in or buy a bigger boat. This is the kind of problem that we face in today's world. And we rarely take time to be grateful of the achievements that we have, of the things that we have done in our life. So we need to discover the true value of contentment. So what is contentment? Contentment is something that brings peace and happiness to our minds. Contentment is something that brings peace and positivity to our minds. Contentment is accepting the present and aspiring for the future. Accepting that this is what it is in real life, this is what it is in the situation that you're in and hope for the best for the future not worry but hope contentment means making peace with the present situations that you are in for example if you have a good laptop be happy about it be content about it try to make ways to use your laptop to build a better future for yourself this is contentment not saying that I don't need anything about the wall or from the wall from anybody I'm just gonna lay back relax and go go to sleep every day that's not contentment that's being lazy contentment is something that you do with the things that you have for the greater future that lies ahead of you on this wall there is a huge push for everybody to go and find more more things more cars more houses more accessories and this actually make humanity go for being successful rather than having inner peace. So this constant pursuit of having more, the constant pursuit of being more, puts us into stressful situations and dissatisfactions in our lives. So we must find happiness through acceptance. We must accept what we have in front of us. Acceptance will allow us to experience happiness. Accept that you are this person. Accept that your face will never change. Accept that your body is your body. Accept that you are in this situation. Accepting all the things realistically in front of you can bring happiness. In order to bring happiness, you must accept that you are happy. Okay? Have gratitude towards the little things that brings joy to your life. For me, it's my camera, it's my laptop, it's my light, it's my smartphone. These things bring joy to me. And remember, material things do not just joy, bring joy to you. All the relationships that you have can bring joy to you. So I'm grateful for everything that I have. I'm grateful that I have a beautiful girlfriend. I'm grateful that I have uh, caring parents. I'm grateful that I have a small MacBook not, not small actually, this is 16 inch MacBook Air and a phone. Good enough for me, I'm grateful for that. So we must find satisfaction in the present. If we don't do that, we will always be unhappy. Contentment doesn't really mean the absence of desire. You must desire for greater things, but not more materialistic items in your house. Always find ways to be satisfied with the present and hope the best for your future. Prepare the best for your future. Therefore, we need to take time and make time for fun and activities. Hang out with your girlfriend, go out, make more friends. It's easier when you were a child. It's easier when you were in high school. But when you get older, when you become an adult, it's really hard to make time to hang out with your friends. So find something that can be fun. Do not go to clubs, do not go to 
bars and drink uh, tons of alcohol. They are fun, but they have a bad consequence in your health and social life. So always find a good activity, a good hobby, maybe a good hobby to enjoy it with your friends. So enjoying men brings fun. fun, brings joy, joy brings uh, happiness. With these things, you can release stress and connect with everyone around you and the world. Embracing gratitude for happiness. Gratitude boosts happiness and psychological well-being. Dr. Amy E. Keller says gratitude supports feeling purposeful, connected and satisfied. That's why you must always be grateful for everything that you have every, uh, and the path that you have traveled, the, the distance that you have come along the way. Be grateful that you have a good TV in front of you, a good laptop in front of you, a good camera in front of you. Be grateful for that. There's a study that I have read. It says, money doesn't matter. Social class doesn't matter. What matters the most is the connection between hum humans. So we humans must focus on making time and effort to connect with friends and families because relationships are the most important things to bring you happiness. Social connections means happiness and health and longevity. When you do stupid and crazy things alone, you might be happy for a while, but you realize that there's no one to witness that and do it together with you. And then you suddenly feel sad again. Therefore, whatever you do, do it with your friends. Do it with your girlfriend, your boyfriend. If you do crazy things with your friends and family and your girlfriend, it will always be epic. Why? It's not the things that we do. It's the person that we do it together with that brings joy, that brings memories, that build bonds. Bonds means connectivity. It means you can be happy. So, can we actually shift our mindset to pursue joy in our lives? I think we can. If we only prioritize contentment, fun and gratitude rather than materialistic gains, we can actually find happiness or live with happiness together. Stop pursuing materialistic things. Pursue joy. It will bring you peace. It will bring you peace and happiness in your life. So think about it. Will we ever finish pursuing happiness? Or will we ever finish pursuing more things in our lives? I don't know, to be fair. But one thing I know is you can start looking inwards and decide which path is the best for you to enjoy your life.